today we are, it's a travel day. We don't have time when we get in to get a workout, so we're gonna get a quick workout in before we leave to go back down to Stewart, Florida. It's uh, basically workout, it's gonna be a back workout, primarily upper back, um, a lot of rows, um, a lot of chest supported rows. We'll kind of do, we'll show the top sets of everything and we'll put a description below showing what the workout was. But again, we're really focusing on uh, warm up, feeder, and kind of a one out, all out set. So it's a pretty easy program, it's kind of balls to the wall. Today's supplementation, we got uh, the sea bum uh, peach, peach bum. Two scoops of this bad boy, lots of good uh, ingredients in there as you can see. I've uh, been adding glutamine, as I said, really more for gut perspective. I'm doing 20 grams a day, doing 10 grams per serving. Um, and then I love adding size, one of the most underrated uh, supplements in my mind. Obviously it's got creatine, epicatechin, betanin, hydrus, beta alanine. It really adds a lot more of the power ingredients into the, uh, the pre-workout. So we're gonna do that, get this started, and we're training with Austin and Trevor. All right, so no shaker today. So we're gonna go a little uh, dry scoop action. Oh, all over the face. Was that, that just happened? This just happened. Announced. Okay. All right, let's see, let's see what Brent thinks about this fight. So Jake Paul just announces a fight. <laughs> Anderson Silva. He's using his <laughs> ass hand. Finally, finally. <laughs> when is that? October 29th. In June, then we went to Vegas, right? Then um, back to Utah, then went to Chicago for the IFT, then back here to Pittsburgh, back here to Miami, then to Utah five weeks in a row. And then uh, now we're going to Florida. Next week, Europe. Come back, have to go to Utah. So like it ends up being three months in a row every week. The plane seats are starting to- We have great big to be traveling in. Oh, then that one week we went to uh, Florida then went to Salt Lake, then back here. Well, it was 111 yesterday in Vegas, so. I did see that actually. Vegas is like the, one of the top things I scroll on the weather. Like, yeah. I, but I don't mind, man. Right. 111. It's all good. I mean, it felt nice. Yeah. Got some sun. Cool. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. I drank one of those can. Uh, the cannabis drinks. Oh, yeah. I prefer, like, no, it's like the best way to chill by the pool. It's better than alcohol because it doesn't dehydrate. Just a waiting area. Again, same thing on the TVs. This is your IV suite. Nice and spacious, of course. You want it to be open. There's a couple of the facilities that 
um, had a smaller IV suite. And what happened was you would have people facing each other, and then you're like, you're like forced you know, to talk to each talk, other, yeah. right? <laughs> Sink in the corner, super easy. So if someone comes in here to cover that's never been here before, they can find the supplies yeah, they need, right. right? That's the whole purpose of it. On the wall, you're gonna find a lockbox. <clears throat> that is a double lockbox. Um, that's for patient medication. So the, when your patients are on hormone replacement therapy, there will be a time and place where they wanna keep their medication here to get it administered to them, mm -hmm. right? And we prefer that sometimes. Yeah, Some of our yeah. patients get to come in here, we, we joke around with them, we build relationships. Yeah, yeah, relationship. yeah, we get to know them a little more, hold them accountable, making sure they're doing the right things, mm -hmm. right? And then at the same time, um, they don't have to do it at home, so they feel a lot more comfortable. To be compliant, you have to have double lock. So that will be the exact lock box that you use so that the medication that's controlled is behind a double lock, okay? That's Avery. Hi. Say hi, hi, Avery. Hi, how are you? Hi. Avery's our lead nurse here. She's been here for over a year. She's incredible. Awesome. Another exam room set up very similarly. If you have the space, Victoria, mm -hmm. if they're big enough, this setup's even better, right? The long because you have a longer, in the day. Yeah, counter space, and then you also have room for someone to put a computer and station a desk, yeah. right? Now that's if you have the space for it. And I don't know how big your exam rooms are, but if they're that spacious, that's what you would want to okay. do. Very similar setup. Uh, that's where the hydrofacial machine is. Very big part of our business now. Um, so we're really pushing the aesthetics and cosmetics now, if you guys didn't already catch that. In here, there's somebody in treatment, but that's the laser room. We don't need a big conference room, but you want a consultation room. Yep, okay. Right? And not like a sit down at a desk consultation room, more like a table, right? So like an open spacious room where you're sitting down at a table with someone where it's a level playing field, right? Yeah. You don't want someone coming to your office, coming mm -hmm. to your desk like they're at the principal's office. Yeah, yeah. They're not gonna open Talking up. down to you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so you sit down with someone at a table, just eye to eye and you just talk, right? You open up the conversation, what brought you in? Why are you here? What are you hoping to accomplish? And they just open up and they tell you everything. The beauty about that is that you don't have to sell anything. Mm -hmm. They literally tell you why we're here and we give them exactly what they need. How I found about uh, Revive actually was, I've owned a contract manufacturing facility for seven years. Uh, so Revive came on our radar when they started the supplementation. Um, Dom and I had some initial chats, never really went anywhere. And then actually randomly got connected uh, personally through Brad, who is Aaron's husband, who works for Arsenal. We both designed our gyms with Brad. Brad wanted to connect two people he thought would get along. Dom and I got to kind of know each other over the course of a year or two. Started really then working together on the supplement side and then built a pretty good relationship um, just in general. And then as I le learned more about the Revive Clinics, it became interesting. We're based out of Nashville. It's an area they weren't in. So um, we started with the idea of putting one in our gym and then now we're sitting here today uh, looking to um, take over the Nashville area with you know anywhere from 12 to 14 clinics. And luckily um, kind of Doug is a mutual friend through many different people in the industry, wanted to be involved in um, Revive. He obviously has uh, some uh, background in Nashville too, so he's wanting to one, get something started in Nashville, two, get involved in Revive, so we decided to partner together. So um, yeah, pretty excited. Kind of doing this with friends, which is also fun too. So. Uh, you know, here's the start of uh, hopefully something pretty great. I'm Erin Holt. I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, I've been in the medical field for my entire career. And I heard about Revive through my husband, Brad, who had become to know, you know, cl worked closely with Dom um, and had known him for a while and just kind of got to a point in my career where I was more interested in to like the health and wellness portion of medicine. Um, and so I kind of came on to work with Revive as a nurse practitioner remotely um, about seven months ago, I would say. And then um, now, you know, after knowing Brent and Victoria and Doug, opening up the Franklin location just kind of seemed very exciting to me and looking forward to help you know, bring Revive to the Middle Tennessee area. I will be the new patient coordinator for Franklin, uh, Revive Franklin. Um, I'm Like Brent said, I moved to Nashville in June. Um, and actually the day after I moved there, I met Brent at Carbon Culture. Um, just got to talking about Revive and everything about the brand. Um, and a, a little bit of background about me is I was working in sales prior to this. Um, but uh, I was just, like Cam said, I was into fitness and my passion was just into the health space. So after speaking with Brent and he let me know about the opportunity, um, I figured it was the best way to combine my two passions and uh, now I'm here. 
from Victoria Leffy, so Brent's wife. Um, so obviously heard about Revive at the same time Brent did. Um, we've worked in the same nutrition industry for my whole career. So this is a really nice kind of pivot. Um, and I'm just really excited to kind of learn something new and got a passion for just kind of the operation side of things, science side. So I'm really excited to bring this to, to Nashville. Hey, my name is Doug Green. Uh, got introduced to Revive actually through through Dom, um, through a mutual friend of ours, Flex, and originally became familiar with the brand when we were looking to try to do uh, a project together in Vegas a couple of years ago. And for whatever reason, it didn't end up happening at the time, but we've stayed in touch since, and I've been passionate about wanting to be affiliated with the brand and be a part of the clinics. And it just happened to work out well when Brent reached out. And being that I'm, I'm from uh, the Nashville area, my family still lives there, I was really excited. It not only one is something I've been wanting to do, but it gives me a good reason to be more present with my family, be around you know my friends and a lot of people that I, I spent most of my life there. So, really excited to be a part and looking forward to taking the region over yeah. soon. Go around the room one more time, and we're going to talk about a strength that you have in a workplace and a weakness you have in a workplace so that you guys can just feed off of each other and know how to pick each up each other's slack. My strength is my weakness. Uh, extremely fast pace, um, don't accept no, and kind of uh, will, you know, um, blaze a path. And I think I've been lucky to have a lot of people behind me that have supported that. But knowing my weaknesses, I'm a blazer, I'm fast pace. Having the ops and having the right people behind is more crucial and I learned that over time. But hopefully the one thing is, um, you know, so far it's been a strength and got to redo it and revive, is I'll never ask somebody to do something I won't do myself and I'll get my hands dirty and work with any, you know, work as much as anyone. So I think that's always set a good culture because Absolutely. if you're up, you know, up top, whatever you want to call that, but you're, you know, you do what you say, people buy in, right? But definitely my weakness is the pace I go at. Sure. Wouldn't you say? I have 100% agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing the last thing I'd say is like, and I would say this to everyone here is, um, I've gotten a lot better over the years of um, people who are very just, but I think Aaron from the first percent this is not going to be an issue, but just being open and honest about things. Like we move at such a fast pace. Like I would rather have someone stop me down in the track and have a call and be like, hey, I have an issue with this than kind of like basically um, bottling things up, right? Because we're going to move at a certain pace and it may be uncomfortable. I'm totally sympathetic if I know. Sometimes I don't think like that, right? So I have, I still have coaching like today, this morning, one of the calls I had is I have an executive coach that I still meet with weekly and it helps me a ton, right? It's because um, we have certain strengths that are also negative. So I would say to anybody is like, don't let things faster. I'm a person, stop me down the track. I love to address things head on that moment versus I had an issue, right? And I think that's the way if we all operate that way, it'll be a lot better, right? Especially in a new business because it's not gonna be roses day day one or day 120, right? Yeah. We're gonna have blocks, we're gonna have hurdles. Um, so I think that's just easy if we're all open and they say vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about off of that, if you're anything like I am Brent in the workspace, you don't know if something's wrong unless someone tells you. That's exactly my problem is I that you I don't think about it, right? I think yeah, some people exactly. overanalyze things. I'm the opposite where I've moved on so fast right. that I may have upset someone on something that I really would feel bad if I right. knew. Right. So just stop me, right? I think that's and that's I need to work on it anyway, but I have I love when people confront me because it's like yeah. Usually I'm like, yeah, you're 100 percent right. <laughs> yeah. I'm a jackass. <laughs> you're ready to fix it. You know? Exactly. But yeah. if things are just going by and no, everyone bottles it up and doesn't tell you about it, it's never going to get fixed, and they're just going to be upset. And that's my frustration. Sometimes I had previous in the company is you know people would bottle it up, and I get why you do that. But then I'm like, holy smokes, this has been this much has happened in this time, and you haven't right. said anything. And I'm almost more like not upset, but like. Confused on why someone would do that, right? Yeah. So, but I think in the beginning, if you do it in the beginning, it's becomes, it's core to the business. Yep. If you start practicing things and like, we're gonna have more challenges probably in the first four months than we probably will in the next twelve after. So it's better in the beginning to just practice that. I've been working since I was a 
kid, I just gotta keep my head up Running, I'm never gon' let up I never feed the haters cause they fed up They still tryna find a way to win I the guy that's when it all begins I don't need a rollie on my wrist Perfect timing, God with the assist I've been working since I was a kid I just gotta 